And we're back with some more RimWorlds and our little uh, attempt at making tribal SWAT wizards. Or not tribal SWAT wizards, just SWAT wizards in general. They're not tribal, which probably would have helped us. Uh, I should probably go over the plan here. Now, first things first, there were some questions. We're currently running on Bacillus Bestore. This is all about Psi powers and stuff. We want to get all the Psi powers seeded in all of our pawns just so that we can get them started along that path because that's a long path, it seems. I've been looking into the Psi cast stuff and while there was some abusive things you could do in the past, they appear to have patched out a bunch of them. Like using the time skip meditation now knocks you out for a day and takes three days to recharge. Before, that did not knock you out for a day and could be used again instantly, meaning you could just really crank up your side cast super fast, as long as you had a dump bunch of prisoners to dump all the uh, excess years into. Fortunately, that's no longer possible. There are some other things we can do, but that requires an awful lot more work and you need to get further into the side casting tree. However, one thing we can do here actually is give us some furniture. We're going to put down a wooden meditation throne. There is a few things we can do that will help boost the side focus gain. For example, Chris here is getting 20% side focus gain and side focus gain is where your experience comes from. This number here goes up based on how much side cast Psych focus you're regaining. So cranking up our psych focus gain is really going to be key if you want to go uh, level up these pawns at a reasonable speed. Okay, uh, next up though, we do have a quest we want to do. It is a shuttle crash. But the main thing we want to do is start knocking out research. There is a whole bunch of stuff I'd like to get my hands on, but I think the first one is going to be microelectronics. Uh, microelectronics will give us access to the high-tech research bench. And after that, I'm thinking we're going straight for drug production for money. Then we're going to be going to smithing and machining so we can get our hands on war caskets. Because war caskets sound like a lot of fun. Turns a pawn into a walking suit of armor. They can't do any tasks, but they can still, you know, kill stuff. Basically dedicates them entirely towards combat. And you can effectively equip them in sort of cataphract grade armor really early on. And give them special weapons as well because they're able to carry bigger weapons now. We'll, we'll get into that later, but for now it's going to be all about researching stuff. Now that the throne is finished, Chris is getting 45% psi focus gain. You see, they've tweaked something here that was not immediately obvious to me. There's all of these focus types you can get, and instead of just doing one focus type at a time, you can combine focus types, which is sort of pretty powerful. In fact, let's just grab Chris here and put them on the throne. They don't even need to be on the throne. The throne just needs to be in range of them, as in, in range of wherever they're meditating. So let's just chuck them onto the throne and oh, actually, no, never mind. They're focused on this one now. Still 45% because it's taking into account the statue and the chair they're sitting on. So what we can do to just boost this is maybe give them like, you can give them minimal, fl flame, and there's going to be a wealth one, science, group, uh, natural you can't buy. You have to be born with that, which is unfortunate. That would be really handy. Uh, morbid, which is, you know, sarcophaguses and graves and stuff. And archotechnology, which is a different one that requires, yeah, we won't worry about that. I'm thinking we're going to pump a few points into these. Why not? Uh, we'll go with minimal because that is effectively free. And that means, oh, actually, they've gone up immediately to 67%. And then on top of that, since they're right near to these uh, research benches, let's just give them the research tech. And now they're up to 103% psi focus gain. So they're gaining psi focus five times faster than when we started. That is, um, that's useful. That's real useful to us. All right, next up. Oh, yeah, that quest. Yeah, this one. I think we're going to want to accept that. I've been humming and hauling over who to give it to, and I think it's going to be Vocek. Vocek? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Vocek can grab it. Thing is, there's no real great choices here, because everyone's kind of essential to the colony at the moment, and having someone... Off doing nothing but sci focus stuff is probably going to be an issue, but it is what it is. Shuttle crashed. Uh... Right. Yeah, the way these things work is they crash, then four hours later something comes to attack them, and then four hours after that a shuttle comes to pick up this person. And as far as I recall, it's just one person we have to save. Um, blah, blah, blah. The commander must be rescued, but the cataphracts may be sacrificed. Excellent. And one of them has a triple rocket launcher. Please do not do something stupid with that triple rocket launcher. We'll wait until uh, it's about six hours out, and then we'll jump over there, and then we should be there in plenty of time to set up a little defensive line. Well, six hours are down. Let's get over here. Um, it's most likely coming from this direction or this direction. It's always from the edge of the map. It could theoretically be from over here, but uh, highly improbable. Let's see if we can't get some stones to hide behind. I'm thinking we hang back a bit. I want to let the um, the cataphracts do the tanking. I do not want to be risking our people. Actually, over here is perfect. Oh yeah. And we'll have to do a little bit of tweaking with a couple of them there. But that should give us an excellent line of sight to attack the enemies. 
Hopefully they don't come over over here. You know what, we'll find out. We might have to pull back a bit from that section. Uh, we've hit the four hour mark. That means they should be arriving shortly. Shortly, there you go. Okay, this is actually, this is good. We're off to the side. We might draw a bit of aggro. Hopefully the triple rocket launcher guy doesn't do anything stupid. And they're five humans. Right. Uh, are you sure they're human? Look a little bit furry to me. You know what? I'm not even going to care about what any other stats have unless some of them survive. Now, I've moved our most heavily armoured people up to the frontier. So, we're expecting some return fire and a lot of our people... Yeah, Tyler just fit... Oh, boy chick. Right, uh, right foot. Well, I think your flak vest might have stopped some of that damage. So, that works out for us. Now, hmm. I don't want to fight that guy. What is that guy doing? See, oh my god, he has side focus powers. Cool. I don't know what that spell is, but I presume it's not good. Uh, who has range on that guy? Probably none of our people. We don't really have uh, you start shooting that one. So two of our people can shoot that guy. The rest are all going to shoot Bishop. We just want to. That's another one bites the dust. Perfect. Uh, all of you attack that guy. And I think that's enough. I don't want them shooting through the backs of these guys, because if they shoot through the backs of them, well, that would be bad. They'll put us at war with the Empire, and that would be not preferable. We want... Oh! Triple rocket launcher hit on that one. Yeah, you've got asthma, asthma. Yeah, no, you are absolutely useless. What age are you? 55? Ugh. Even draining the life out of you doesn't appeal to me. Uh... See if we can't get a few hits off on this guy. What, they're much younger, so if we could maybe scooch a few years off of them. Come on. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do to that guy. He's too far away. Damn it. Really hoping to have someone to de-age or to age. This guy's just too old. He's already 55, so if we start aging him up, he would probably just straight up die. And while I'm not against killing prisoners, it's more a case of if you kill a prisoner, it gives us a, a bit of a mood hit, and our people are not exactly the happiest campers in the world. Right now, let's check out health. Right foot, and what did you get? Neck and right leg. No immediate danger. Well, you got shot in the neck. That seems like an immediate danger to me, but eh, you do you. There's the rescue shuttle, and they are gone. Uh, freeholder title gained. Yeah, yeah, no one will inherit this title. Basically, it's it's worthless. It basically means you have a point with the uh, the Imperium. Doesn't actually do anything for you. Doesn't get you any gains. We need, uh, I think it's five points before they'll give us a sci or Psylink, or maybe it's six. Whatever. Well, hopefully another quest will be along in a bit. What are... There's a complex heist, a component site. I mean, I would like to do some of this stuff, but I don't think we're really set up for it yet. We're barely scraping by with what we've got, so... Let's maybe hold off a bit before we go raiding. We need to bulk up a little first. Chris had a little bit of a nap time because, well, we use that time skip ability. They're not 25. I don't think we're going to be using that for a while. We don't want them doing any more of that time skip meditation. Though they're at a level 7 side casting, which means they do get access to uh, time sphere. We could pop that, and I think we're going to use that shortly. Uh, while that was going on, we also had a quest to rescue someone called Skunk. They look to be a kid, so no. Um, I'm trying to be mean, but they're going to be of no use to the colony. Mega Slot Revenge, oh yeah, we went uh, to fill up the fridge, but uh, the Mega Slot didn't make it in range of anyone, so we just basically murdered it from a distance. Uh, Basil had a tantrum and smashed some stuff. They didn't actually destroy anything, thankfully, though they did damage the ship trunk reactor, which made me a little bit nervous. And Riza tried to go to Wake Up Binge, so we just walled it into the corner. Good luck with that, buddy. And we now have a bunch of visitors who seem to be willing to trade. Though I doubt they have anything we really care about. Pemmican, 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 steel hatchet, herbal medicine. No, uh, and there's not even any trash we want to sell. Actually, I suppose I might get rid of some of these old weapons. We don't need them. Bjorn, where are you? You're sleeping. Uh, when you're ready, go up and trade with them. If they get away before you wake up, I'm not too miffed other, either way. Uh, Research-wise, how are we looking? Yeah, 361 research. We're still quite far behind. And I think I want to start cutting our meals with veggies so that they last a little bit longer and give everyone a better mood bonus. Raid, Tox Group. Uh, several separate groups of wasters of the Tox Group have arrived in transport pods nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prefer, prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Huh. Well, let's see where you're landing. Okay, we got some over here. I think the plan... Actually, let's make sure none of our people are anywhere. 
No, the we got Tyler over here. They're going down to that location. That might be bad. Let's uh, don't bother with that rabbit, buddy. Yeah, I don't want them going near those. Okay. I just love this mini map. This mini map on the top right makes it just so much handier to figure stuff like this out instead of spending half an hour running around the map seeing if you've forgotten anyone. All right, so we got hammer time. Four humans with hammers. Over here we have three humans with hammers. Well, wasters, whatever. Let's see if any of you are worth keeping. Like, it might be worthwhile to just wound one of them and then run them around in circles. We'd be looking for a female psychically sensitive or psychically hypersensitive, if at all possible. Any of you? Psychically sensitive. No, abrasive, wimp, delicate. This is going to sound a bit wrong, but I think I kind of like Shy Lupa here. Uh, psychically sensitive is good. Psychically hypersensitive would be better, but they're a wimp as well, which means they should go down easy. Uh, which means they should be easier to capture. As well as that, they're jealous, which means they've got a morbid focus. Which means, yes please, just put them around some uh, sarcophagus and stuff and they'll get a bonus to all their meditation. I think they could work out. And we're missing a crafter. Uh, they've also got good intellectual, and we do want to do research. Ah, uh, they're shooting and everything is top-notch. True. 73. A little bit older than my, my normal standards, but we have psi-focus spells that can, or psi spells that can uh, reduce that or get rid of it entirely and get them back to uh, nice and young. We don't even have to stick them into, like, normally you'd have to stick them into some sort of pod for an eternity. No, we're not going to be doing that. So instead, what I think we're going to do is we're going to run out here and we're going to kill these three first. Reason being, the only female here is Ali, who is ugly and creepy breathing. Uh... Yeah, just no. Nope. Incapable of dumb labor as well, so they are just no. Okay, you. Uh, trade with them while you're around. Then we're going to get everyone to go over and go... Where are you going? You know what? Let's just leave that person there for now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Trade-wise, let's get rid of some of this junk. We don't need the steel hatchet, steel knife. Yep, yep, that can all go. In fact, that's, that's a, a full silver. We gained a full silver from that. In fact, let's see. You get zero silver from selling that. Yeah, whatever. I'd almost be better smelting them, wouldn't I? Well, that was a waste of time. All right. Anyone who can hold a gun, you're coming this way. Oh, Chris, what happened to you? Oh, yeah, you dropped your gun when we got you to do that spell a minute ago. Fine, fine. Quick, grab your gun. Then, everyone, let's go clear out these newbies. We're taking a lot of you. We're taking no risks because it's early on. Oh, are two of them fighting? That is amazing. We detected a logging site nearby controlled. Yep. I'm looking for, ooh, damn it, they've already started coming, so in that case, let's line up. Come on. I think the reason these guys attacked early was because they started kicking the snot out of each other. And that is good. And let's pop forward. What speed are they going? Okay, they're not actually going to bleed out though because they were involved in only bruise fighting, but that's okay. I'll let everyone catch up with them. Uh, this guy over here, yeah, we'll take him over to the corpse pile, but, yeah. Come on, move it, move it, move it. What we want to do is get over there and hopefully clip them, if we could stop them from running away. What age are they? They are 31. They have 30 good years they could dedicate to us. Alright, yeah, fire. Try not to be fatal about it. Uh, well, yeah, I can't really blame you. Okay, let's get down here and pick a fight with this. Actually, no, let them come to us. I don't really care if they do or not, but it just means that we have less distance to go. That's just really far away, and I'd rather deal with them when they get back to us. Uh, here comes the second group. Uh, yeah, they're going to go up through here and then have to go all the way around. What we're going to try and do is get a tap off on Shy. Since they're delicate, hopefully we can knock them down. It would be nice to get a new recruit. Damn it, they're way at the back. The problem is they have a bad back, scratch scare, old gunshot. Yeah, they're going to be a bit... I think we're going to have to let them get deep inside our base. Yeah, I think we let them get in a fair chunk. Reason being, if they're deep inside our base, it'll take longer for Shy to run away. And if it takes longer for Shy to run away, we have more time to run them down to kill them. Or capture them, sorry, capture them. Okay, in fact, let's bring them inside. Not. You reconnect there. Let's get the entire team up. I know it's sleepy time, and I know this is going to make you all grumpy. But it is what it is. Strong, where are you? You, I want you to pick up that heavy SMG, or sorry, light SMG. Get out here too. Uh, these are all melee people. Yeah, yeah, every single last one. Wow, Shy is really, really slow. Uh, I am hoping we don't accidentally break all of these people before we get a chance to nab Shy. 
Uh, you guys can not fire it, Will. No need. Yeah, that is fine. That turret has no range limit? That's great. This is kind of ridiculous. Oh, never mind. Uh, they've decided to target us. In that case, we shall attack. Run. Okay, we need to get a bead on Shy. How's our turret doing? Uh, fine. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, we would just like Bjorn maybe to take a shot at them. Bjorn has a pistol. Uh, Basil. Yeah. They haven't dropped. What about your pain levels? Your pain levels should be through the roof. Pain little? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Who else have we got here? You know what? No point using guns. Everyone melee attack. You can run them down. They're 2.63, so they're incredibly slow. Everyone else back to work. Can run! Well, okay, you can't run, actually. You can try and run, but you're gonna get ganged up on. Yes! Captured alive! For now. Yeah, we didn't even do anything too damaging. Okay, your torso's a bit damaged, but... Yeah, you'll be grand. And in fact, as well as that, because of their genetic predisposition of dead cam, they will never do social fight, mental breaks are never violent, and will never do prison breaks. This means we can take our time recruiting them. All right, uh, who's got a bit of speed on him? Strong. Uh, capture them. Wait, unwavering loyalty? Oh, damn it, how did I miss that? God damn it. Okay, so, they're unwaveringly loyal. They will refuse to be... Uh... Oh, thanks for that. That is uh, extremely inconvenient. And none of you survived to become... Uh... Well, I was really hoping to keep one of them alive so that we could ch change them more towards... Actually, wait a minute. There's psi abilities that can do this. You know what? We shall keep you for now. Uh, we'll worry about all of that other stuff later. Let's let everyone get back to work. Maybe there's a psi spell we can use to break the unwavering loyalty. I don't think there is, but we can have a look. So right now, what we're doing is we are researching like crazy. We're getting people to, well, clean this place up. I've put down some shelving to maybe chuck some stuff in the shelves, get all of this junk out of the fridge. Oh, and it's that food almost done yet. Potato plants are almost grown. Once our first potato crop comes in, what we can start doing is slicing the, splicing the meat with the veggies to make ourselves some fine meals, which will double the length of uh, the meat supplies. Oh, and is anyone going to get into repairing that? Yes, they have. Perfect. And we had to stick in a couple of these indoor coolers because it was getting to 40 plus degrees outside and people were risking heat stroke. All right, uh, I think we need to go grab some more wildlife while we're at it. How much meat is there out there? Ugh. Yeah, we're starting to run through the local meat supply. I think it's time we went on a little bit of a hunting spree. Considering that this unwavering loyalty thing might not interact so well with the whole psychast thing, we're still going to give it a try. It's going to cost Chris a year of his life, but yeah, that's a, a price he's willing to make. We're going to use word of foretelling. Eh, it's sort of like a recruitment tool, but let's see if it actually works on this bot. Don't think it will, but I'm willing to give it a try. Um, no, unwavering loyalty. Well, yeah. Fine. Okay, we shall release the prisoner. There's no point keeping them now. Goodbye, buddy. Uh, who's having a major break with Jason. Ooh. Your problem is, yes, you're depressive with a bad back. You know, we should find some way to heal that at some point in the future, and I'm sure we will. But for now, you're just going to have to live with it, buddy. And, oh, that's right. We've planted a whole bunch of psych guys here. And once we get those potatoes in, uh, that first crop of potatoes in, we're going to make sure we get in enough psych to make all the psych tea we need. Uh, unfortunately, we will have to research a bunch more stuff first before we can even make that psych IT, but, but, we're on the way. Oh, damn it! what did you do? Um, I think they tried to convert, one of them tried to convert. Some kids tried to convert the strong to her own ideology, the strong reacted badly. Well, yeah, of course they did. Uh, what's their so, what, which they're up to 23% and Bjorn should be ready to hit him. What's their, what, why is that not allowing us? Oh, we don't have line of sight. I think it's uh, time for a little bit of a conversion attempt on one of those. I would like to have everyone of the same religion if at all possible, and you two can just keep beating the snot out of each other. I don't care. If it works out, great. If one of you kills the other, eh, it'll be an inconvenience. Hey, Suncrist went up into melee level two. Anyone lose any fingers or toes? Nope. And... Nope. Not seeing anything too bad. Okay, off you go, guys. 
Uh, we've also got a little bit of drugs we picked up from those people. So we do have some smoke leaf joints and we did have a little bit of psychite tea, but most of that's gone already. Oh, there's the other piece of psychite tea. Just to keep everyone hopefully even keeled because they're all a little bit tense right now. Oh, and Bjorn, can you hit up him right now? Certainty reduction 10%? What? Well, that's not, that's not good enough. Like, that won't even come close. The guy's at 23. Instead, where's, where's Basil? Yeah, Basil, I think we're going to convert you instead. You are a, yeah, certainty reduction 20%. That's much better. These guys over here, they're like the furry pack ones. They're, yeah, they're, they're not a hope. This is at least one conversion we can be assured of. All right, Basil, welcome to the team. And that will be another three days before that can recharge. But once that's recharged, we can start working on strong, I suppose. Why are they so tired? Too smart. Global certainty loss factor. Yeah. Jealous night out. Okay, so they're a little bit tougher to break. But that's fine. Ooh, actually, how's our religion looking? We have three of ten points. Time to do a few more rituals, methinks. One of our biggest problems right now is strong. Uh, in fact, I do have to give them a name, don't I? Please welcome Idris Smith to the team. Uh, they are... Yeah, they're jealous, they're a night owl, and they're too smart. Health-wise, they're still suffering from a bit of a beating, but the main problem right now is the jealous. This means it's degrading to have a less inbred, impressive bedroom than someone else. This is annoying right now because, well, we had to put Bjorn over here. Bjorn needed their own bedroom because they got promoted to priest, and priest comes with higher demands. They have higher expectations, which means you needed to give them something to counteract that. However, now that uh, Idris here has, whatever well, Idris is kicking up too much of a trouble, we're going to transfer Idris over to the other place. This should get rid of that nude negative they were hitting with. Yep, and hopefully it'll get rid of the ugly environment as well. Serious pain, not much we can do about that for now. But there we go. You got a lovely bedroom. Uh, you don't have any slaves in the colony. Well, tough. Also, you're going to be a pain in the butt to convert. All right, first thing tomorrow, we're going to hit up a few more rituals. There's a couple more rituals we can do to develop our ideology a little bit more. We would like to move our ideology on just a little bit closer to doing a refit. We would like to get our hands on some things that will convert the remaining prisoners, just or the, our other recruits, just a little bit faster. Also, it's time Chris started using some of those special abilities for our benefit. Uh, the spell we're going for today will not be Raid Pause. No, instead we will be going with Time Sphere. Psychically compresses the flow of time in an area, rapidly ages living creatures, plants flourish and wither, structures start to disintegrate from the bizarre stresses. Yes, uh, that cost us two points to get as far as there, but that's fine. It's only one point for the actual ability, but we have to spend a point to get there. Now, let's go see what these fields would look like. Uh, you can see here, these things are at 80%, some of these are doing good. These psychoid plants are quite new, these ones are at 50%. But, if we do a little bit of time sphere, oh, this would cause neural heat overflow. Wow, this stuff actually requires 90 neural heat. Sorry, buddy. This may sting a little bit. Oh, wow. Actually so big it's going to damage the wall on the right. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. Actually, maybe the wall on the left would be better. It's marble. Ah. Let's go. Oop, yep. Eh, now you. I want you to get back to meditating. So, inside this field, you can see that uh, these things are now all ready to harvest, and these plants are also ready to harvest, and where are you going? No, 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 no. Don't, don't go towards the... Mm. Yeah, there, there you go. See that? It was just like, oh, look, there's something where I can get in trouble. I'm just going to wander right in there. Bulldoggy, bold. Now, what happens if I let you free again off the leash? Yeah, you can go anywhere you want, where you want to go. Okay, good. Stay away from the giant bubble of time that wants to eat everything. Uh, you are harvesting the psychoid plants. Perfect. As you can see, plants are all done. All of them are grown. However, they did take some damage because they took age, age damage from being around for too long. But this allows us to grow plants at an incredible rate. The graphics have not cut off on a few of these. Ah, there we go. Once you harvest one. Great, we've got a raid. Well, that is uh, inconvenient timing. Uh, you, how's you doing? Yeah, you didn't do too bad out of that. I think we're going to have to increase their neural heat or give them something. Wait, is this the raid? Second, let's get rid of this. Uh, yeah, Neanderthals have arrived nearby, approaching from multiple angles. Oh, wait, there's two of them. Great. Neanderthals. Yeah, well, we got a fast learner and a tough. Yeah, fast learning Neanderthal, that's a bit of an oxymoron. All Neanderthals have this slow learning thing, which means they study 50% slower, which makes it really hard for them to gain skills. 
tough way if you want to play. Uh, now down here we got a pessimist, uh, blood dust nimble body purist. Uh, so we have four of them. This feels slightly weak sauce. You know what? We'll uh, we'll wait until they get in closer and then shoot them all. So they're going to attack in two separate groups. They're all going to have to come through the frontier. We can wait across on the opposite side of the mud and just gun them down. Oh, here they come. I was a little bit slow off the mark, but that's okay. Whoa. That was... I suppose the Neanderthals, they're pretty tough, but still. Like, respect. Uh, you with the peg leg. Run them down, boys. Run them down. Remember, the more people we capture... Oh, damn it. It's fine, we still got that out of it. Yeah, where's the rest of them? God, you're all the way down here. Everyone just back to work for now. We'll we'll call you back in a second. Everyone grab a snack or do what you're gonna do. In fact, let's just let them in. Uh why not? The turret can do some soakage and we'll get everyone else in here. In fact, we'll leave Idra in bed. Idra's still a little bit grumpy, so and they'd have to walk by that door. That turret is actually turning out to be quite useful. Wow. You are well tough. No way. No. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I think we can classify that raid as finished. Both of them fought to the death. Very brave of them. Uh, we're going to have to scrap up their weapons and dispose of the corpses. And, yeah, you'll notice here, we managed to grow an awful lot of crops very quickly. And you can keep doing that again and again. The moment we rip out these plants and plant them down again, and Chris has re recovered their uh, side focus for that. How much does that actually cost? Time sphere costs 25% of your side focus. That's not even that much. They could cast it four times. Well, they'll have to wait till their neural heat goes down. But that means you can just think of the drug money. We can just mass produce psychoid leaves at an incredible rate. We'll have to expand out some walls so that we're not clipping them that way. And we should probably optimize for the size of it and all that. But this means we can just mass produce food or psychoid or even devil strand. Think about it. You could draw devil strand in just in an instant. Ooh. There's, there's so many options for that, but not, let's not get carried away. Plan is doing the research, which is going incredibly slowly. Ah, an insulting spree from Idra. You got your own bedroom and you're still being a drama queen? Well, uh, yeah, okay, it was a tiny bit below. Your friend died? Oh, you got seven days you'll recover from that. Slept in the heat? Yeah, whatever. Ow, that hurts. Minor pain. Disturbed sleep. No slaves in calling. Oh yeah, we need to... Like, I'm sick of them having mental breaks. We'll sort it out later, but for now, we're just going to have to put up with it. Uh, should we arrest them? No, uh, that leaves them unhappy for like 30 days. Uh, Riz is probably just going to beat the snot out of them again. Riz, what's your food at? Yeah, well, they're eating meat. They're going to have a mental break no matter what we do until we convert their religion. Yep, they bet the snot out of each other. Riz, how you doing? Bruises. Nope, 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 nope. Don't be using the good medicine on yourself. And Idra, yeah, there's no point using good medicine on you either. Ugh. What an annoyance. Okay, okay. Well, let them clean the place up. Uh, oh, actually, there's blood everywhere over there. You know what? Doesn't matter. A little bit of blood never hurt anybody. Let's finish off this area, get a bunch of people more into rooms, and hopefully this will cut down on everyone murdering each other. Well, great. A psychic drone low male. That's just going to make everyone happier. Uh, how's Rizzo doing? Catharsis. Yeah, you'll be fine. Insulted by six. Yeah, it'll fade away in a couple of days. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will just cause you to punch someone in the face a bunch. Let's get around to the little ideological celebration I've been meaning to do for ages. Knock this out of the way, that grabs us, hopefully, another point for our ideology, and once we get up to ten points, we can finally start converting people just by default. Oh, excellent. Gonna have a bit of a chat. Guys, you do realize this is a religious party, right? And Idris is now down. Well... Not surprised. Was kind of expecting that to happen. Oh well. At least they've got some catharsis out of it. We'll pick you up once the party's over, buddy. You just, uh, you lie there and think about what you're gonna do next. Oh great, now Basil broke. Low psychic drone. Well, yeah. They've fixated on Jason Fenwick, who is currently... Oh, they've been recently involved in a fight. Great, pick on the guy who's just been in a fight. That's... Wonderful. Hopefully they're sleeping, are they? No, insulted by two. Yeah, that's just going to keep going up. You know what? Never mind. Let it keep going. Hey, look. Basil's uh, insult spree came to an end. Possibly because of someone punching him in the face? Yep, not at all unexpected. And he kind of messed up Chris a bit, our sidecaster. Uh, it's okay. There's, they're doing pretty good. It'll be fine. And someone will be along to pick you up after you've had some time to think about what you've done, you muppet.
I think we're pretty sorted on the food front right now. Uh, we need a little bit more meat, and I do need to run a caravan to get rid of all those leathers. Uh, those leathers are clogging us up a wee bit. Uh, but first I'm going to get my hands on some more meat. We're running a tiny bit shy, and there seems to be a nice collection right over here. Perfect. Yeah, they're going to attack us now because they're angry, but that's okay. They're all on fire. And now they're even more on fire. Or whatever the equivalent of that is. Ah, there. Yep, yep, nope, nope. Don't even think about it, buddy. Yep. And there's another one bites the dust. And... Thank you. This is actually excellent. We got all of that. So much meat and hides. We'll just explode that guy and be done with it. Nope. Pull back. Line of fire. It's Bjorn. They're too slow because of their armor. That's why everything's all messed up for them. Hey, anyway, we'll go put it to fires, bring those home, and that'll be that. Well, except for Suncrest. How are you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. We're just going to send you home immediately. Sorry about that, buddy. That's our cook as well. I think our wealth is starting to get a little bit higher than we would like. So it's time to clear out a bunch of these old furs and things. So we're going to put together a quick caravan. We're going to send them over to our only trading partner because it turns out we can't trade with these guys. They're neutral, but we can't trade with them. Something to them, we're, we're pirates, they're pirates, but pirates don't trade with other pirates even if they're new. I don't know what's going on. I presume it's something to do with the mod. Never mind. But Bjorn and Tyler are going for a bit of a walk. They're going to take the horse with them. And they're going to take, well, all of the hides. Every single last scrap of them, except for the heavy fur. Heavy fur usually has some sort of use. So we'll send them on their way. That should dump a bunch of our wealth. And then we have a few other things we need to do. Uh, one, we need to have a dance party. Actually, two dance parties. I forgot we had to install this to do them. Turns out our ideologies, uh, these two things, the dance prime, dance party and dance party, both require you to have this thing here. And Jason is not the one in the caravan, so that's okay. Yeah, happened in final mood, depressive. Yeah, well, we're, we're not going to be able to fix them anytime soon. Their depressive combined with their health condition just means, yeah, they're going to be constantly at a minus 17 mood. We're never going to be able to keep them happy. Let's maybe, maybe joy wire them, but that would be a little bit of too much of a negative, I think. One quick, very quick caravan later. Uh, this place should still be... Like, let's just double check. As far as I'm aware, it has not been that long since we've been here. Yeah, restock 9.9 .9 days. So basically, this place hasn't restocked since the last time we've been here. Meaning we should probably keep an eye out for anything we want before we go because we most likely will not be back. Aggressive heat dump I might like. You know what, let's see how much money we've got to work with. Even after selling everything, that's only plus 999 silver. Uh, that does not leave us many options, but I'm thinking we'll grab the smoke launcher. It's excellent for weapons trading, assuming they haven't changed that too much. So let's take that and head back home. Uh, plus it helps cut down on our uh, wealth. Just a scooch. Uh, we definitely have plenty of meat and veg left behind. We're churning out as many meals as we need. And I'm thinking next up, once those two return, we'll do a couple of quick festivals and then we'll crack open that ancient danger. Really wish though we had a few more weapons. These weapons are looking kind of weak sauce and it's going to be a while on the research front before we can improve upon that. For our next trick, Chris is going to do the same trick. We've uh, maybe expanded out our time sphere area just a little bit and I've even put down some markers so I can figure out where everything goes. We're going to plop that down right there. I'm curious to see if the heal root will grow instantly. And yeah, everything basically gets aged so quickly, it's pretty much instantaneous. However, that spell lasts for 30 seconds, so we need to keep everyone out of there for 30 seconds until it's finished doing its thing. Alright. Nope. Oh, you're harvesting the psychoid plant. Maybe just wait it. Just wait a minute. Going in there would be um, detrimental to your survival. Right, off you go. And Chris, you can get back to work. We haven't caused him any neural heat damage, thankfully. Uh, we're going to have to level up his neural heat section. Actually, can we? If we put a point in here, it should increase his neural heat limit by just a little bit. And we do have that one point to spend. Of course, when he levels up another level, the same thing will happen. Uh, you know what? We'll leave it for now. I'm not going to spend it unless we absolutely ha positively have to. But this means you could... Basically, you could grow psychoid almost as fast as you could plant it and harvest it. Think of the just... Like, this just boggles my mind on the drug potential, and there's some other really broken stuff we can do, but this here alone is just, it's like an almost infinite money glitch. The problem will be converting all the stuff into drugs quick enough. How's our research going on microelectronics? Once that's done, we put down the high-tech research bench, then we get the drug stuff, drug production and psychite refining. Then we can just start printing money, effectively. Chris has already topped up their psi focus after that ability. So we have not even managed to harvest all the crops they've grown. We even threw down some smoke leaf because it's effectively free crops. You could just plant stuff, zap it with this spell, and then boom, it's all instantly grown. 
I think there's even more abusive stuff we can do here. I mean, it might even be possible to grow cocoa trees. Not cocoa trees, uh, chocolate woods? Though I think they take way, way, way too long. It's more the, the cost of planting those, not the time of growing them that's the issue. Completely forgot about this one. The deserter quest line has come up. This is related to royalty. Basically, someone joins you and they give you the location of somewhere where you can grab a couple of silent new reformers. That puts us at odds with the Empire, but... I mean... Eh, let's uh, let this run down a little bit more, but I think... Uh, Last minute, we might grab that just because. If I could get another Psy level on someone before we do that, that'd be great. But if we can't, we it is what it is. And then we'll probably have to make friends with the Empire again just so we can get more new reformers, but it is what it is. Ah, finally. We've actually got some research done. And uh, now we just got to put in the new science table. High-tech research bench. Not going to squeeze in there, but we can squeeze one in right here. These things are not mobile. Might want to consider this a little bit more carefully before I plop it down. Having individual bedrooms for each one of these is causing everyone to be just that little bit happier. Uh, Idris hasn't actually caused any problems in a while. Huh. Okay, there's a slept in heat debuff. We can take care of heat problems later, but everyone's getting fine meals. And uh, low expectations, extremely comfortable, slightly impressive bedroom. Do need to uh, make sure they eat their food better. We might have to put in a dining room somewhere around here to make sure everyone's got more of a central dining location to work with. This one's a little bit far away. This uh, turret kind of very useful, but has limited where we've been able to build stuff. Mm. Oh, and research wise, let's queue up the next things that we wanted, which was drug production. Yay! And psychite refining. Both of you need to get researched as soon as possible. And hopefully we can knock those out pretty quick and start converting all that psychite into glorious cash. Well, great. They've all decided to take a break and have a party. Eh, go for it, guys. Eh, uh, I should actually queue up a few of uh, a high priority hall commands. There's just a lot of stuff out here and I'd prefer if it was in storage. Wait, what's no, no storage for what? Smoke leaves? Uh, now you could be stored around here. What we want to do is get improved research up and running. So I'm gonna put a research room right here. Uh, over here, we're gonna move the prison and I think I'm gonna have a corridor down this left side. See, so yeah, I wanna have a corridor linking this area with all these bedrooms and then a corridor that comes down here linking to all the stuff in here. And I think this is probably going to become storage or something, and we're going to end up moving most of our production over here beside where all the drugs come in. We're going to want to be able to mass produce drugs quickly, efficiently, and store everything nearby. Uh, I don't think we even need... Like, normally, I would be very concerned about getting up towards solar panels and stuff like that to... Uh, well, not solar panels. Greenhouses for sun lamps. So we could put sun lamps down to make ourselves insulated from a bunch of problems. However, the fact that we can just insta-grow food really quickly is... Well, just terrifying. That means we could just grow the food as we need it and grow mass produce it instantly. It's, I don't know, I'm sure there's going to be downsides and problems to it, but for now, I am quite happy to go this way. All right, uh, they have almost replanted that, which means once that's replanted, we could just smack that up again, though I don't think we need to. Also, when it comes to wildlife, we are hunting down all the animals that do not explode and do not fight back. We had a bit of a heat wave, so we did uh, lose animals for a while, but they're all coming back now. And, hey, anyone want to finish that off? That's going to be our new prison area. We now have a Granolin pod has sprouted. Uh, that's the stuff that gets you into, like, tr dryads and hippies and stuff like that. Like, I mean, they're already SWAT wizards. I think that's just a step too far. We'll we'll, we'll ignore the whole Granolin stuff. And what was that? Was that a lightning strike or was that the battery? Nope, lightning strike. Never mind. Uh, someone want to get on that? Uh, that is... Oh, never mind. I haven't added that to the home zone. My bad. Let's uh, try and put out those fires, would you? Anyone? Great. The most local person is incapable of firefighting. Yeah, pyromaniac. They're just... Uh, Tyler's just going to lie out there and be like, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, you prioritize extinguishing that fire. If you wouldn't mind, I would prefer to keep the wires intact so we don't lose power to half the base. Done. Okay. Uh, prison's been moved over here. We're going to build a corridor through this section. This is going to be turned into our science lab. We're going to floor it and make it all nice and shiny. Also going to double as our meditation room for reasons that should become obvious soon. Combat supplier, combat supplier, please have lots of guns. What do you got for a musket? No. Steel longsword? No. Tox bomb launcher? No. SMG, that might actually be useful. That looks... Locust armor, we can definitely not afford that. l sword, plasma sword... A flak vest. Yes, yes, a flak vest is good. Uh, do we have anything we can sell them? Uh, not yet. Our drug empire has not come online. Anyway, Bjorn, where are you? You are currently researching. Nope, nope, nope. You are currently trading. Trade with this guy. Let's find out what they've got, and let's find out what of ours they will take. The only thing they have that we want is that SMG, which we'll buy, but that's it, unfortunately. 
A little bit disappointing for a combat supplier. Oh, and someone get that inside immediately and we'll probably equip it on either Bjorn or Basil. Whichever one has the better shooting. Yeah, that'll be Basil. Psychite refining is completed. In that case, actually, we'll grab psychoid brewing, uh, psychoid brewing as well. We want to get our hands on some psychite tea. Maybe some Devil Strand and complex clothing are in order. A few dusters made of Devil Strand would be quite nice and quite easy to churn out, considering the uh, what we've got going on. Actually, that might be next up. Huh. It's interesting when you, like, when you throw in the sidecast, it kind of changes your priorities quite substantially. Well, the timing on this raid is awkward. A raid from the Pumamuk that sounds like the pig people. They've arrived in transport pods nearby. They're attacking immediately. Well, that's a problem. Uh, I can see some red dots up here, but I don't know where exactly they're landing. Uh, team, assemble. Uh, maybe not that tree. All right, everyone, get it together. Uh, all right, so some of them land over here, some of them landing here, and some of them landing there. Actually, Pomo Walk. Jesus. You know what? Let me check something here. Yeah, there they are, and they're the enemies of the Empire. So, let's bring in Tromoa. Trauma, whatever. You want to get here immediately. Like, right now, you want to run toward this. In fact, ooh. No, we don't run you, run you in the back door. We'll have to run you in this side door here. Yeah. We'll run you in there and over to that section. We're gonna get everyone else summoned up. Uh, you might want to run quickly. Those those porkers are gonna be after you. And what are what is you? You're a greedy royal bastard. Oh, God, great. Shooting is good, artistic. That's all you're good at is artistic, and you're not even that good. I'm thinking you may be having an accident in the future, though. Not before you drop your gear. Hmm. 3.9. Oh. You better run a little bit faster than that. You're about to be pursued. Maybe you make it, maybe you don't. Honestly, not the biggest deal for us. Oof. So if you let them in the door, that might be an annoyance. Keep running, and I'd like to get your gear fresh. What is that he's equipped with? Your gear is smoke grenades. Well, that's going to make the shooting a little bit trickier, but that's okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Uh, what? Let's get everyone over here just in case. Yep. Buddy runs around the corner and immediately gets his face handed to him. Just exactly what you want to see. All right. Uh, perfect. What's the other one? Cargo pods. You've detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby? Ooh. Yeah, we'll take it. We don't actually need it because of our ability to instant grow crops, but... Raid from the Royal Imperium. Oh, I do not like to look at that. Yeah, what about them? Uh, they will prepare for a while, then attack. Well, that's inconvenient. Maybe these two will annoy them. Actually, what are you equipped with? You're equipped with... Oh my god, you don't have... Your flash grenades? Flash grenades. That's just... That's not even going to annoy them. That's just going to make them laugh at you. You can go there, you can go there. Everyone else. Yeah, make sure that one doesn't get in range. They've got... Yeah, that's good, that's good. None of them are actually getting downed, though. Hey, where, where are you going? Wow, he's actually taking cover. I really should have been more careful about that. Chris! Chris! Your only sidecaster. Try not to do anything too chronically stupid. Uh, time sphere. Actually, let's see. Could we do a time sphere editor? Ooh. I wonder what would happen if we drastically aged up our enemies massively. Are you on something? No, you're just... Will you're a psychopathic pyromaniac with chemical interest. Right, got it. Well, at least our people are getting in some shooting experience by missing you. Wow, just... Yeah, and we've managed to break open the wall behind you. Guys? Anyone? Seriously, how come no one is hitting this guy? Pretty sure all of these people have maxed out their shooting experience for the day. No, actually, never mind, I take it back. Uh, let's hope he doesn't actually manage to injure anyone, but this does not bode well. That means the Empire are going to be far more difficult than we were anticipating, because they are actually decent. Uh, they have shooting of 4, shooting of 17, 7... I think... 
Chris, we're going to be leaning on you heavily. In fact, we may have to crack open some more sidecasts for you, though I don't think there's anything we can really do. Uh, raid pause. Raid pause might be a fun one. What would raid pause do? Depending on the caster site, it slows all raiders on the map to a complete swap for up to five minutes. Attacking any single affected raider jolts all of them back into action. Requires 40% side focus and 60 neural heat. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Back. Let's do that and let everyone back to work. That should buy us some time. How long can we pause them for? Like, huh. And... Done. All right, Chris, go get your meditation on. I want you to get some meditation on and that should help. And we can repair these walls while we're waiting. Just to make sure they all come in the correct direction. And we better add that to the home zone. Perfect. And get a little bit of repairs on and we'll be ready to face them in no time at all. Oh, it, it literally stuns them. Huh. I probably should have waited until they started their attack. Then stun them. Yep, now, now they're beginning the assault. Okay, that was... That was bad on my part. Uh, yeah. Plus, we don't really have a good stun duration. You know what? We're just going to have to fight them. Eek. Okay. Chris, we're going to need you on the front line. We're going to need that time sphere ability of yours. And we still have not finished the hole in the wall. So, Chris, we're going to need you over here, if at all possible. Yep, that's fine. Time sphere is... We're going to have to crack your neural heat a lot. What's that guy equipped with? That is a charge pistol. Huh. What? They're probably going to collect over there somewhere, but I'm thinking... Let's do it. Let's burn this right about there. What age is that guy? You are 53. Chris, why did you not do the time sphere? Uh... You know what? Let's do it right there instead. Okay, perfect. Now let's target that guy. Okay, now let's target that guy girl. Whatever. Ooh. Oh, okay, what's going on over here? You guys. No, that's the wrong one. Hey, I'm trying to... Hey, yeah. You are 49. And you're all broken though, right? You're now 50. Oh, wow, it's aging them up rapidly. That is... Yep, that's exactly what we wanted. Are they able to get at the door before they age out and die? Probably not. Well, that's a pity that we don't get to capture any prisoners, but it's good that we're still alive. How's everyone doing? Chris took a gunshot in the leg. Chris, left hand destroyed. Well, that's a problem. They were one of our best constructors. <clears throat> I'll have to get you some bionics, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. That thing's actually... That time distortion's also destroying the wall. That is actually quite a cool distortion. How are you? You are aged up to 70... How are you still alive? You've got artificially aged about 20 or 30 years after being riddled. Uh, someone stripped them down. They have some good gear on them. And the other one's going to make... Well, the other one made it off the map so we don't care, but there's no one else left alive. They were literally the only one to go down. All right, we'll strip their gear, which looks pretty nice. And we got... Did we get any decent weapons out of this? Oh my god, the death acidifiers took out their guns as well. Pointlessness. Well, the plan here is quite simple. Marcia is going to get released. That should hopefully make the uh, the enemy like us a little bit more. And anyway, yeah, release them. We don't want to keep them. Uh, we've also gotten our hands on this thing over here, the outpost that has the two enemies in it with the stash with the two Noraformers. We want to go and get that pretty quickly. Uh, everyone's a bit unhappy. And Jason decided to start a social fight with someone. So they got the snot beat out of them. Yeah, we'll worry about them in a minute. Someone will get around to them. They're not going to bleed out before someone heals them up. Eh, they probably won't. But honestly, the amount of fights they get in is just crazy. Being depressive and having a, a torso scar? Yeah, we're going to have to do something about that long term. All right, why has no one finished this place off? Uh, once this place is finished, we will have a new meditation slash research area that should be far superior to anything we've had before. We have moved Chris to their new location, and they're now on 115-14% meditation. Uh, that's because they're sitting on top of a throne. Oh, damn it. Psychoid brewing is done. Excellent. 
We're actually behind on everything we want to do. We, we still have to put in the psychite refining or any of that stuff, but we'll research some Devil Strand because we can grow a whole bunch of that really quickly. Uh, at the same time, we need to start utilizing some of the stuff we got. For example, you down here, we want you to add a bill to make psychoid, psychoid tea. Do that until we have uh, 50 is good. Yep, and put that up there just below fine meals. This way we get a little something something to keep everyone happy and... Ugh, we're now hostile to the void. Yeah, 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 you were warned to this world yet you remained. Yeah, we've still got the void installed, but we should have disabled all of the raids from them. We're going to leave them until the, the SWAT team are actually leveled up a bit. Otherwise, we'd have to do some truly exploitative things to survive. And I don't really want to go that route because then we don't get to enjoy the SWAT stuff. All right, uh, what's next on the agenda? Ah, uh, yes. Building ourselves a little drug production empire. Oh, and we released the, the, the prisoner that was in there. Have they made it off the map yet? Ah, there's Marcia. You, get off the map. You're a little bit older than when you got here, but... Uh, relations have changed. We got a 15 point bump with the Empire for that. This is kind of nice. We can grab those two um, new reformers from here and we'll probably be able to become friends with the Empire again just from sheer drug quantity we can throw at them. Let's get started on this. I just wanted to finish this off and I'm already short on time. This is going to be our drug production section or at least the start of it before we expand it and unfortunately we now have a raid dropping right on top of us. Bunch of furries. Um, they're attacking immediately. Uh, now, when it comes to people dropping right on top of you, it doesn't mean they're actually going to drop right on top of your base. They could be actually dropping right on top of any pawn you have. I think you only have one outside the base and most of them are in here, so they're probably going to come in this room. Uh, Yatkins. Okay, so we retreat to here. Find the turret. It gives us as much range as possible. Turret can hopefully soak damage or at least draw aggro. And if they start trashing the place, we can come back in and... Well, the fridge is a different story. Fridge is too valuable. We can't, we can't let them trash the fridge. Okay, we need to give them a route out. Both those doors are locked open. Uh, all of you guys, I don't want to fight them in the fridge. Like, fighting them in a phone booth is just not my idea of a good day. That is definite losses territory. Okay, you know what? Go back to here. I'm going to hold this area. If they come out of the fridge, great. We hold position and fight them. If they stay in the fridge and start trashing it, we can run down and hopefully draw aggro from them. Or start shooting through the walls. Actually, yeah, we could shoot through the walls to draw aggro from them. Hey, what's your plan? Yep. Yep, that guy knows what his plan is. Uh, that's, like, you're just going to fall out of the sky and do that? Oh, they're definitely leaving the fridge. In that case, original plan still applies. Uh, fall back. All the way to there. Go, 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 go. And what is our dog doing? Uh, you know what? Maybe we should get that dog in on this. Follow master while doing... while drafted. You wouldn't mind. Ooh, wow, Tyler and Jason are moving hella slow today. Okay, this is kind of working? Where is that guy going? Oh, he's going to get a beat on the turret. Ah, uh, that turret's about to pop. It's okay, we were gonna kill him. <gasps> You! You know what? You're not getting out of here alive, buddy. Not after you, like, not after what you did to the dog. No way. Both of you are dying. What age are you? Oh, if we could knock you unconscious, that would be great. In fact, melee attack. Yeah, I have a much better life in store for you if we can kick you alive. Preferably unconscious and drainable of your life's essence. Did the dog make noises like that when you beat it? Because it sounds like you're making dog noises. Come on. Wow. Still, how did he take that much damage? High on go juice. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would explain it. Today was not a complete loss, though. We did manage to capture Shawl. Shawl is 14 years of age, which is just excellent. Uh, Chris? Yeah, we're gonna need you to get a little bit younger. What's your bio at? You're 26 right now? Yeah, that knocks you down to 24. Boom, 22. And we'll do one more at least. That knocks you down to 20. Perfect. In fact, what? Let's de-age you a couple more years. Oh no, we can't afford it. Never mind. Never mind. 
Uh, okay, I think we'll have to cut this out here. We're way over time. But the plan would be Chris is going to keep leveling up those side casts. They're getting really, really good at it. But I think what we'd have to do is, say, level them up to here. Then we're going to have to get them the Technomancer thing. This allows them to get up to uh, Craft Psy Ring. This will allow them to share their powers with other people by crafting rings. We'll have to get our hands on some other stuff, but there's ways to do that. And basically what you do is you'd get someone up, max out one tree with someone, and get them the Psy Ring so that they can share their, their abilities with other people through rings. And then sort of combine a few different trees to do some truly powerful and broken things. Realistically, though, we want to put a lot more points into people getting uh, Psy Focus abilities to help them level up their Psy powers faster. Uh, so even though you can theoretically up to level 30 with their Psy casts, you're going to be spending so many points on different upgrades and upgrading their Psy caster stats. It, it's going to hurt. But on the research front, we're going to knock out Devil Strand and then it's straight down smithing, machining, and then probably over to maybe getting ourselves some war caskets. Uh, I don't know if we'll be doing slave war, ca war, of cas war caskets, but for now, we're going to keep uh, Thrumbi around. She's going to be disposable, namely because her only purpose right now is to sweep the floors and get shot later. We have way too many things to do. I still have not cracked open the ancient danger. We still have to go maybe grab that component site and grab the two new reformers in there. And there's an ancient complex. Uh, I don't really care about the wood that they've got. And there's some tox potatoes. If they're not real potatoes, I'm just not interested. Anyway, progress has been grindingly slow as always. I keep forgetting how much time it takes to do anything in RimWorld, but uh, I think we're progressing fairly nicely. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Mm -hmm.